Hey guys, Henning and Morton from Flip Normals here. In this video, we are going to be looking at one of the hottest new texturing tools out there. This was recently announced at GDC by Microsoft. Yeah. And it's one of the most interesting tools because it's really like it's really enabling AI yeah. for texturing. And going back to basics, like it really I think it opens up texturing for for a lot of new users out there. Yeah, exactly. Like texturing gets very complicated today. If you've ever been in Mari, you know, there are there are so many menus and buttons and hotkeys and everything. Yeah. So this really goes back to the fundamentals of it. And even something like substance painter is still, you know, can still be complicated to get into. Exactly. So let's jump straight into Microsoft's new tool. So here we have it. The interface is quite simple. They've really simplified it down into we have just a few buttons here on the right. We can do awesome things. We're like uh we can do this. Predefined shapes. Predefined shapes. Yeah. You can even do uh, lassos or uh, straight lines. One of my favorite tools from playing around with this is that they have uh, they have like a spray can tool. Yeah, it's an AI based spray can tool actually, which is really cool. It sort of like predicts where you want to paint. And uh, I'm not actually painting now. Yeah, this so is, just, uh, it's pretty cool. I think yeah, and they they have sort of like a it's a it's a beta version of uh, lazy mouse in there to get super smooth strokes as well. Yeah, exactly. You see how smooth this here was? This was predicting what I was thinking of doing. And I really like the build up that it has, like you just hold it in one spot and it just builds up the color. Seems so like they have a bit of work to do when it comes to like getting the nice smooth strokes, but we, we believe this is coming in the next beta. Yeah, this is still in closed beta. So there's still still some things to add to it, some refinements, but in general, it's pretty, pretty solid. One of my favorite features as well is that you can choose colors. This is uh, something I didn't actually expect from a tool yeah. of, uh, of this level, but that's pretty cool. Especially this early in development, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's a pretty nice feature. Yeah, it really is. Uh, this is also cool. This is where it uses AI to predict where it's going to fill the colors. Yeah. So with other software, you know, it might spill over to other parts of the UDEM or something like that. But uh, with these closed, uh, closed UVs here, it's just it just knows what to do. Exactly. This is a feature I've been wanting to wanting in Painter and, and Mari and even Photoshop for quite some time. Yeah. But finally, somebody has listened to us, listened to all our online rants. One thing I am curious about, which I'm sure they are going to be adding, is if we can make the brush a bit bigger. Yeah, it's we we haven't quite figured out. I think they have they have predefined uh, presets for for yeah. brush sizes, but. Um, you know, it might just be a limitation of, of the AI or something. Yeah, exactly. AI is still quite early on here. So, but the guys at Microsoft, they got it back here. Yeah. So, yeah, we have a direct link to them. Um, so we're giving them feedback. So if you have any feedback to this, of course, you know, just leave that in the comments as well. This is super cool. You see this? I'll change his color. Oh, oh, that's all like on the fly as well. Yeah, exactly. Whoa. Like you can move it. Oh, that's pretty cool. This is some content aware stuff where I've never seen anything anything like this. So just like uh, just like with Painter, um, it does have the limitation of only being able to work on one UDEM at a time, yeah. unfortunately. But uh, they are they are definitely um, working on that feature. So, you know, it's just a, let's see who gets there first, if it's algorithmic or if it's uh, Microsoft. I mean, if they have AI in it, yeah. then I mean, I'm sure these guys are gonna, he's gonna smash Painter comes to it. I'm also wondering if they're gonna allow us to have more than like 20 colors. I mean, for most of my career, I, I've only used around six colors. Yeah. Like, you know, you have like two two texture maps you keep using, like four smart materials and around two to three colors. Yeah, but it, um, but the, go the good thing is that uh, included with, with this version here is that they have like um, base colors. Yeah. So it's not like any sort of desaturated stuff. So it's all like the super vibrant reds and stuff. Oh, wait. Oh, oh what is that? Do they have, maybe Do they this, have more colors? Maybe that's a new release or something. Yeah, that's pretty cool. This must have been a patch. We didn't actually, we get, didn't get the release notes for this. Oh, that's cool. One thing we keep talking about in our videos is the whole like smart material system. You don't want to, you don't want to overuse the smart materials. You want to really observe here. Yeah. But this, the same thing goes here as well. You don't want to overdo the paintbrush. You know, this is, it's a good tool, but you know you gotta, you really gotta be careful that you don't have this like uh, Microsoft AI look. Yeah. Because then everything, the recruiters and everything, they're just gonna straight up look and be like, oh, you used, you used AI tool, then you don't actually know how to actually <laughs> paint. So you gotta be careful with this. I do like that it's it's so simple. Like with your with your paintbrush, you have one paintbrush. You yeah. know, So it's it's really it forces you to be, I think, creative with your with your brushes. Um, whereas you know you have one spray can tool and can kind of change the size a little bit, but uh, you know, it just uh, it it really forces you to to focus on the basics and and all the fundamentals that we keep preaching about. 
So it's been really cool to see that I think Microsoft has taken a lot of this to heart, and uh, I think they're really going to be like a front runner when it comes to uh, the texturing market. Yeah, I really think so. I'm incredibly excited to see where they're going to be taking this in the future, and please keep on refining, or please keep on, on you know, working on this tool because this is the coolest thing I've seen in a long time. Yeah. I'm going to be sitting here and just filling up colors. This is. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how so this cool. AI does it, but it's 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 pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they have a text tool as well. We can also remember. add text to it. Yeah, that's true. And they even have this advanced um, transparency feature. So, like, default would be you just add text on top. You're writing with red, so that's why I can't see anything. That would be that would be why. Yeah. yeah. Let's see if I can figure out. That's actually pretty go. cool. Like two simultaneous colors, like mm. one for background and for foreground at the same time. I think that's the first time I've ever seen that, actually. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You can't really move it though. But why would you? Why would you want to move it? I mean, if you know what you are doing. Yeah, then, then you just then you just commit. Yeah, exactly. So it's there's... really it's really based on that. Uh, you can also do one where you, it preserves transparency. Yeah, that's that's a cool. That's a very welcome uh, feature actually. Yeah, exactly. Hopefully, we are going to be seeing undo as well. Oh that, yeah, that would be pretty cool. But it's kind of like uh, you know when we started out with uh, with Max. You know, uh, there was no undo in Max, and we just. You know, you just get around it yeah. by, by just being, you know, 100% sure that the stroke you're putting down is the stroke that you want. Um, you can always save your image between each stroke so that you ensure that whenever you put down a stroke, you can go back uh, if you're not, you know, super comfortable uh, as an artist with the software yet. So this is a feature I haven't actually, this is the first time I've seen this. It seems like they have upscaling as well, like, you know, uprising of images. So you can paint and here you're painting in 1K. Then you're painting 2K, and here you can up, up, up even to 8K. It's interesting. And I've never seen a 6K resolution before. Oh, that's funny. Maybe they maybe they figured something out there. Yeah, because uh, I think, you know, because we're always talking about this in production, whether to use 4 or 8K. So it actually, so it actually makes... have something in between. It actually makes sense to have a 6K resolution. I yeah. never thought about that. Maybe maybe we're going to have 2K as well at some point. A 4K as well. I think we're just skipping it. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like, that, that makes sense. So 2018. Yeah. Maybe you can you can also pick colors. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's not a feature I really wanted in any software before. No. But uh I mean I guess I might guess I might be able to see the use case for Yeah, but also like it. you you have the colors at the the bottom hand of the screen, yeah, right? Exactly. So, you know, you're you're fine. And if you need blue, you know, we have at least four blues. Yeah. So, you know, you can get all the variation you really need in here. There's no really need to get more colors, I think. No. Any other any other cool Yeah, we features? have erasing. Which is oh. awesome. Seems like it doesn't really erase to white. Oh, oh, one thing I noticed is we have crop. This is really cool. Like, you know, in some, some software like Photoshop, you, when you crop your image, you got to hit the hotkey. Yeah. But here, you can just uh, drag and drop it. Instant. Slight limitation is that it does, you know, it does commit to it. But that's also really cool. But I think that's the whole philosophy behind mm. uh, Paint, to be honest. It might it's, be. It's, it's a very committal software. So it's like we talked about before, any action you make is, uh, you gotta be 100% sure. Yeah. Otherwise uh, you're fucked, you know? Yeah, because so often when you're sitting and you're doing art, you just kind of, you have layers with all the opacity and all these kind of fancy things and all that kind of stuff. And, yeah. And you don't, you want strong, clean shapes and whatever you're doing. But it's really, I really like it because like with something like uh, Substance, you, you have a tendency to, like we've talked about many times, overdo with smart materials and you try to do the shortcuts um, this just really enables you to to focus on what really matters, which is just only the colors for for texturing. So you know the most important thing, and then you can just focus on that. You don't have to worry about opacity. You don't have to worry about blending stuff. You can just you paint everything on one layer, and it's always only one layer, one unit at a time. So you know I think this is going to be a great tool for beginners as well. This is pretty cool. I just discovered this. If we change this to a color here, it seems like they've added support for the Flippinless Creature Kit. Oh. It takes a bit of time to to actually do, but you know it, it's computing right now. But now I just thought about that I want an eye, and now it's just adding an eye. I did this just before with the ear. Let's see if it works with like the fawn horn as well. But let's see if we can draw it. That's the first time I've seen a texturing software support VDMs. That's that's really cool to be honest. Oh, nice. Huh. It's a bit shitty at drawing the shape, but maybe if if we give it more input. Yeah, maybe huh. maybe it's like uh, maybe there's like there's like this one machine learning in there as well. So like I think the there more is a, times you there use is the software, definitely some machine learning and AI into it, which are definitely two separate things as well. Yeah, which we know about. Yeah, yeah, which you definitely know about. 
Uh, it de yeah, definitely has support full full creature kit support. Maybe there's like uh, maybe they're also planning to expand the software into sculpting or something at some point. You know, that would be cool. You could have like this painting sculpting solution. Maybe Seabirch will finally have a competitor then. That would be really cool. I think Seabirch needs a competitor. Yeah. Uh, this is really cool. Check it out. It has light and shadow support as well. It has like NPR features. Oh. See, it's 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 calculating right now where you can get this like cross hatching. That's pretty nice. That's really nice. So if you want this here to be to be cross hatched. You just you yeah. Just, you can very easily get a very cool stylized. Yeah, look, you just actually. click the brush tool and then you just wait, and then then it's doing it. That's nice. Huh. Do you have any control of where it starts or ends or anything? Or no, no, no. Honestly, it's, it's the software is just doing its thing right now. Yeah. Maybe it's based on like a Hilbert curve or something. Yeah, yeah. it might be. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Huh. But yeah, I mean, um, you know, I think this uh, this pretty much covers our our first look at uh, the new Microsoft Paint. And uh, and I'm excited for the future of uh, of texturing. This has really like invigorated my my passion for texturing again. And it's cool. To, it's gonna be cool to see what Microsoft does with uh, with this new software. Yeah. And if you're if anyone from Algorithmic or Foundry is watching, you guys you guys have to start off the game. Yeah. You need to enable creature kit support and VDM brushes because honestly, you're falling behind. Uh, I don't think I can texture without creature kit brushes anymore. No. So, so yeah, uh, so thank you so much for watching. And if you want to see more reviews like this in the future of up and coming software, we'd be more than happy to, you know, to test out whatever it is you have. Uh, we heard there are some some tools. One is called uh, uh, Soft Image, which mm -hmm. is really up and coming. We have there are some really ones, a uh, good one. We heard about Wings 3D as well. Silo as well. Silo is Silo is really up there. Yeah. So uh, you know whatever you guys have, um, we're definitely open to your suggestions there. So thanks, thank you so much for watching. And we hope you have a good day forward.